Hey guys, welcome to your 18th C Sharp tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you uh, how to combine the jagged and multi dimensional array. Um, I've actually created one already. This is a uh, jagged array, as far as I see it, but on the MSDN uh, C Sharp website for the array, it says that something like this would be called a single dimensional array with. Uh, multi-dimensional array in each element. However, I think this is a jagged array because if I had taken this out, it would be a jagged array. But I just added a comma in to make it multi-dimensional rather than sing single dimensional for each element. And if it was single dimensional for each element, it would be jagged. Anyways, enough about my rant. Um, I made it size 5. In each multi-dimensional array for an element, is currently as, as, uh, at an undefined size. So if I wanted to, I could make this 2, comma, 3, and then I have to add in two sets of curly braces for the two two elements, and each element has three element, three sub-elements in it. So I'm going to make 1, comma, 2, comma, 3. That's the three elements. 1, comma, 2, comma, 3. Those are the other three elements. I can also make this 1, 1, comma, 2, and then 1, comma, 2. There. And even though this only has one element in it, you still have to have the second set of curly braces. I don't really know why, it's kind of pointless. But you gotta do it or else it won't compile right. So, there's a little bit of extra information that's irrelevant to the topic. Now, this is only a, like a double combined array. I don't even know what you would call it. I'm just gonna call it a combined array. And you can even add more if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and take out this. Add a semicolon here, and then I just put a random number in here, 6. Because uh, remember, if you don't add the curly braces down there to uh, define your elements at uh, during compile, you have to create a size and then say whatever it's going to be later, even though you can change the size, and the size now could be t completely irrelevant to what the size is later. You still need to do it. So then I'm going to go ahead and add another one on the end here and this will compile. I'm not going to make this one for you because it's it would be pretty big. And you can even add another one on the end of it. And I'm definitely not going to make that one for you because that's pretty big. Maybe I'll do it in another video or I'll just put a piece of code on my website or something. But I'm not going to try and compile either one of these for you. Uh, that's it on the combining jagged and multi-dimensional arrays. Um, as far as this topic goes, I don't know why you'd ever use it or waste your time with it because there's so many places where you could mess up and it's just really confusing. I would rather just create a single dimensional array or just a simple array or not even use an array at all. Um, but if, I'm sure there's some places where you'd need an array. But anyways, um, see you next time. Um, I'm probably going to do recursion after this maybe not sure yet. Um, I've already got a plan for recursion for at least a couple, probably three videos, so I'm, I might end up doing those, but uh, we'll just have to see what happens. See you next time.